Ever wondered if your brain ever changes or evolves after childhood? Well, hold on to your cerebellums because the answer might surprise you. You see, there's this common misconception that the brain, much like a sculpture, is a finished product once you reach adulthood. It's believed to be a static, unchanging monument to all the learning and experiences of your formative years. But what if I told you, that's not entirely accurate. Picture your brain as a bustling city. The skyscrapers and structures represent your existing knowledge and skills, while the roads and highways are the connections between them. Now imagine if this city could continually construct new buildings, carve out fresh pathways, and even demolish old, unused structures to make room for more efficient ones. Sounds pretty dynamic, doesn't it? Well, that's because it is. Your brain is not a static, but a dynamic organ, a veritable metropolis of change and adaptation. It's constantly reshaping and refining itself in response to your experiences, emotions, and even your thoughts. This concept may seem a bit mind-boggling, but it's a fundamental aspect of how our brains function. It's not just about storing information like a hard drive, but also about reorganizing and optimizing that information to better suit our needs. So, why does this matter? Well, if our brains were truly static, we'd be stuck with the same mental capabilities we had as children. There would be no learning new skills, no adapting to new environments, and certainly no personal growth. But thankfully, our brains are far more flexible and adaptable than that. They're like an artist's canvas, constantly being painted over and modified to create a unique, ever-evolving masterpiece. So next time someone tells you that you can't teach an old dog new tricks, just remember, your brain is a dynamic organ, always ready to learn and adapt. And that's not just some fancy scientific jargon, it's a testament to the incredible transformative power of the human mind. Believe it or not, your brain has the unique ability to rewire itself, a phenomenon known as neuroplasticity. So let's delve deeper into this fascinating concept in our next scene. Stay tuned. So what exactly is neuroplasticity, you may ask? Let's dive deep into the fascinating world of our brains to unravel the mystery of neuroplasticity. Imagine your brain as a constantly evolving jigsaw puzzle. As you acquire new knowledge and skills, it's akin to adding new pieces to the puzzle, creating a more intricate and adaptable picture. That's neuroplasticity for you. In the simplest terms, neuroplasticity is the brain's ability to reorganize and form new neural connections throughout life. It's like the brain's version of a city's infrastructure development plan, always evolving and adapting to meet the city's needs. But why does the brain need to change its roads? Well, each time we learn something new or have a fresh experience, our brain creates a new path to store that information. It's like building a new road for a new type of car. So the more we learn and experience, the more roads our brain constructs. Now consider what happens after an injury or disease that damages part of the brain. The affected area might not function as it once did. It's akin to a major roadblock or a closed highway in our city. But thanks to neuroplasticity, the brain can reroute its traffic. It can find new ways to deliver the information, forming new connections or strengthening existing ones, allowing recovery and adaptation to occur. What's even more fascinating is that our brain's plasticity isn't just influenced by learning or physical changes. It can also react to our emotions and thoughts. Positive thinking and mindfulness can enhance it, while stress and anxiety can inhibit it. So neuroplasticity is essentially this incredible capacity of our brains to continuously adapt and reshape, to keep the city of our mind running smoothly, irrespective of new developments or unforeseen roadblocks. In other words, neuroplasticity is your brain's way of staying fit and adaptable. So keep learning, keep experiencing, and keep your brain city bustling. Now, you might be wondering, how does our brain achieve this? Well, buckle up, because we're about to dive into the fascinating world of neurons, synapses, and neurotransmitters. These are the key players in the process of neuroplasticity, the brain's remarkable ability to rewire itself. So, let's start with the basics. Our brain is composed of billions of neurons, each one a tiny living cell. These neurons communicate with each other across tiny gaps called synapses. Picture it like a miniature game of catch, with the neurons tossing messages back and forth across these synaptic gaps. But how do they pass these messages? This is where neurotransmitters come in. These are chemical messengers that carry signals from one neuron to another. When a neuron receives a signal, it triggers an electrical charge that travels down the neuron's length, prompting the release of neurotransmitters. These neurotransmitters then cross the synaptic gap to the next neuron, passing the message along. Now when we learn something new or experience something repeatedly, 
our brain adjusts. The connections between neurons strengthen or weaken, new ones form, and some even disappear. This is neuroplasticity in action, our brain's way of adapting to our ever-changing environment. But what influences this process of neuroplasticity? It turns out quite a few factors do. Age, for one, plays a significant role. Young brains are like sponges, soaking up information and adapting more easily. But don't worry, older brains can still flex their neuroplasticity muscles, it just may take a bit more effort. Environment and lifestyle also have a hand in shaping our brain's plasticity. Environments rich in stimulation promote brain growth and adaptation. Meanwhile, a healthy lifestyle that includes physical activity, balanced nutrition, and good sleep can enhance our brain's neuroplastic potential. So neuroplasticity is not some magical process, but a result of the intricate workings of our brain. It's a testament to the remarkable adaptability of our gray matter, constantly reshaping itself to help us navigate the ever-changing world around us. What does neuroplasticity mean for us in real life? Well, let's dive into it. Neuroplasticity, it's not just a buzzword bouncing around in the realms of neuroscience and psychology. It's a real, tangible phenomenon that influences our lives in some pretty incredible ways. So, how can we benefit from understanding neuroplasticity? First off, it can significantly enhance our learning capabilities. Picture your brain as an orchestra, where different sections, neural networks, harmonize to produce the symphony of your thoughts and actions. Neuroplasticity is like musicians learning new tunes and refining their performance. Similarly, the more we use certain neural pathways by learning and practicing new skills, the stronger these pathways get. This is why practice makes perfect, or at least, a whole lot better. But it's not just about learning new party tricks or mastering a musical instrument. Neuroplasticity can be a game changer when it comes to recovery from brain injuries. Following an injury, the brain can often reorganize itself, creating new connections between neurons to compensate for any lost functionality. It's like the brain's very own superhero swooping in to save the day after a disaster. And speaking of superheroes, let's talk about prevention. Neuroplasticity could potentially play a role in preventing neurodegenerative diseases. While it's still a budding area of research, some studies suggest that keeping the mind active and engaged can help to keep these diseases at bay. It's like that old saying, use it or lose it. Essentially, by keeping our brains fit and busy, we might just be able to keep them healthier for longer. But remember, much like any other form of physical fitness, neuroplasticity requires effort and practice. It's not a magical cure-all, but a tool we can use to keep our brains sharp and resilient. So neuroplasticity is not just a fascinating concept, but a powerful tool in our quest for health and wellness. It's like having a secret superpower, tucked away in the folds of our brains, just waiting to be unleashed. So let's harness this power and keep our brains flourishing healthfully. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed the content, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more awesome videos and share your thoughts in the comments below. Your support means the world and I can't wait to see you back in the next video. Be good to your brain and as always, be well and stay balanced.